Hello everyone, my name is Pixel Riffs. Welcome to another Final Fantasy stream. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing very well. It is morning. Good morning, Talisman. So good evening, Matt Bomb. Thank you for showing up. We have 10 people lurking around. So if you haven't said hello in the chat, give us a wave, say hi, and thank you for being here. We are kicking off on a very, very snowy day. It's even snowier than yesterday. I post a picture on Twitter. The view from my office window is glorious. It's so weird. It's uh, I, I've not been in this house long, and I've never seen it snow like this in this area before. So just like the the roofs all being covered in snow is kind of magical. And uh, I had a lot of fun on the Final Fantasy stream yesterday, so we are going to kick off and do a little bit more. Because I felt like playing this game some more. I, I'm really enjoying it, personally. Uh, so so yeah, we're going we're gonna to continue from where we left off. Yesterday, for those of you who weren't able to catch the entire stream, it may not all be familiar to you, but don't worry, it might still make sense. Hopefully it does. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy being along for the ride. So let's get right to it. Uh, this this game needs to, needs to hook in again, and it's not doing that. Give me two seconds. Let me figure out what OBS is doing here. There we go. In three, two, one... Hello. Yes, there it is. Fantastic. Good. Uh, the countdown didn't quite work, but apparently, <laughs> apparently it's fine. And we can unpause that. Do let me know if the volume is too loud at any point. Too loud, too quiet. <laughs> Back to Pokemon. No, sorry, Final Fantasy. Yes, we will not be catching any of the enemies in this game. Sorry to say, but, uh, but here we go. And I was a little bit worried after all we did yesterday that because, yes, I am running this on a Game Boy Advance emulator, I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't have saved my information because you can use save states when you're emulating, but you can't. I, sometimes I was a little bit concerned that it wouldn't have overwritten any kind of save data within the file. And that was what I was going to come up to this morning. But no, we have ourselves file number one with our lovely little crew. So let's let's quickly take stock of how we're how we're doing here. We've got level 18, everybody uh, equipment wise. I think we were doing pretty well. I just obtained the mystic key, at last. <laughs> so we have ourselves a key that will open magically sealed doors, and basically what I'm gonna start off this stream with is going back to all of the locations we've been to thus far, and open all of the doors that I couldn't open before because they required the mystic key. So we're probably gonna head back to Castle Cornelia first, and grab that, and then uh, we'll see where else this adventure takes us. But I'm pretty sure there were other locations around the world where I I needed to use the Mystic Key, so <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to track those down. Good morning, Drafting Eagle. Welcome along. Playing some Final Fantasy. Were you here for yesterday's stream? I don't recall seeing your name in the chat, but there were a few people here, so sorry if I missed it. Hello. We're, uh, we're doing something a little different to the Minecraft stuff today. So where is... Oh, this is... Uh, the pirate town. So let's quickly check around the pirate town in case there are any any mystic chests here. I don't think there were, because there's an inn, and there's nothing really to collect at the inn. There weren't really any houses here that I could get into that weren't, like, utility houses. Get out of the way, dude. Thank you. <laughs> the NPCs in this game are uh, very considerate. If you run into them for a couple of seconds, they get out of the way. But no, all of these were, like, shops and stuff, you know? I don't think there was anything in this that... Uh, required you specifically to have the mystic key to open. Hector, hello buddy. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're all very well this morning. Is it snowing as bad where you are as it is for me? Because it, it is definitely a snow day around here. Like I haven't seen any of the buses go past on the road yet. So I don't know if public transport in Brighton has completely shut down, but uh, chances are it might. I really wish I had the world map for this place because I have zero idea where I'm going. <laughs> but that's part of the fun, is learning these worlds and exploring. I think I need to go north. Or... 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 This way. Maybe maybe west. Like, I'm, I'm trying to work out which direction it is. But I think it's west. And let's use thunder on a shark. Or just attack it with a sword. That'll do fine. Yes, here we are. Okay, cool. We did need to go this way. Good. 
good. Right, uh, let's check around Cornelia just in case there's anywhere here. But again, this is a town. I don't think there's anything really here that required use of the Mystic Key. Uh, I should probably check that we've got enough items right now because we're all right for potions. We probably want a couple more Phoenix down. Now that I've got a decent amount of money, probably best. We didn't get many KOs the other day, but yeah, that's the exit for the town. Nothing up here or down there? No, probably not. Okay, cool. Buses are fine up here as it's the north. Yeah, you guys uh, you guys pretty much have it covered. I remember being in Leeds and nothing ground to a halt in Leeds when I was at university and it snowed. <laughs> Everyone was just like, well, get on with it. Just walk everywhere. It's fine. How about you? What do you got to say? Sage Lucan says something about finding the crescent moon. Oh, yeah, of course. We, we haven't met uh, Sage Lucan yet. Restoring light to one of the crystals just might make something happen, but who knows? I guess we're going to find out. Anyway, up to Castle Cornelia and... There must be a couple of places around here that need the Mystic Key. If not here, then it's definitely the Chaos Shrine is our next port of call. Good morning, lunch lady. 4 a.m. there? Wow, okay. Don't know if I could ever thank you for rescuing Sarah. Uh, you could give me some items. <laughs> Always a fan of items. Here down under, it's quite hot. Well, yeah, it is kind of your your summer, isn't it? Uh, the beautiful loot handed down for generations is said to have a unique... It can shatter the gateway of evil. That's why she gave us the loot. I should have talked to this guy before. Are you the warriors of light, the ones from Lucan's prophecy? Uh, yes, we are. Right now, I'm looking for anything I can open using the mystic key. I don't think there is anything. This is the, the princess. Uh, anything up this way? Wait a second. There are doors behind there. How do I get to those? Do I have to go up some stairs and then down again, or do I just go all the way around? How do you get to that place? That's weird. There doesn't seem to be any kind of entrance. Hmm. A mystery. Looks like we can get to it from the right-hand side over there. Can I get around the castle walls like this? Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Maybe this is the way we get to the stuff. Oh, yeah, we found it. Okay, cool. Because I know upstairs is probably just like the king's chambers, right? Let's talk to this guy. Is he the guardian of this place? The treasure house has been bound by the mystic key. See, I told you. But we have it now. Tents! Iron armor! Oh, it's an embarrassment of riches. What have we got? You obtain nitro pa That's what the dwarves wanted, right? The dwarves need to... We need to get some, some TNT to the dwarves so they can uh, blow open a rock somewhere, I think. A cottage? What? Why's this guy got a cottage in the treasure chest? A saber, which I think we already had, and a mithril knife. Okay, awesome. So I think we can probably give that to the black mage. Going to assume that a mithril knife is going to help him out. More accuracy, more attack. I will take it. Uh, and a saber was what we needed for this guy. Yeah, his accuracy was going down. His attack was going up with a saber, which is fine. I reckon we'll do all right. We haven't really had that many problems with like missing hits and stuff. I have not ever been to Australia, no. Being from the UK, it is like a almost a 24-hour flight to get to Australia. So, yeah, I haven't really uh, haven't had the pleasure of visiting Australia. Right, let's go up to the Chaos Shrine because there are a couple of uh, a couple of items we could get there that we have not yet got. I'm just going to hit everybody this time. Don't feel like using any magic. I think my party is doing pretty well at this point. Yeah, 65 damage from the White Mage. That's not bad. Considering the White Mage is not a character intended for attacking. Uh, we probably need to cure her, though, just because every time we level up, it kind of leaves our HP values behind. Yeah, we're streaming early, Paranor. Yeah, I figured, uh, figured start a stream early at this time of day. 22 hour flight. Yeah, pretty much. It's it's not it's not an easy flight and so it's not necessarily a uh, a holiday destination I've considered because I'm not I'm not that good at flying to begin with. I tend to be a bit of a nervous flyer. 6:17 a.m. It is 10:17 here, so uh, not too far off. Yeah, we haven't been here long. Figured I would start around 10-ish. See who else turns up. That's the thing. I haven't really done much streaming at like different times of the day. I normally just stick to afternoons and evenings. 
But it depends. You get a different audience at every time of day. <laughs> get some pixel hype in the chat. Okie doke. Uh, let's visit this place. I do like the music in here. It's pretty cool. And I think there was a room over here on the right, and then I think one below that that I could get some treasure from. <laughs> you got the same breakfast four times in a row? Wow. Yeah, that's airline food for you. This room. We didn't go in this one before. Oh, and we're getting a fight with two gargoyles, which I guess I'm fine with. These guys aren't particularly dangerous. Waking up with Pixel Riffs is the title of my morning show. Werebuster and Gold Needle. What does Werebuster do? Is it a weapon or is it a an item? Werebuster, a sword effective against werebeasts and no other kind of beasts, I guess. Uh... Oh, nice. Okay, 28 attack. That's definitely an upgrade. I'll take it. Hopefully it's as effective against anything else. Are you a werebeast? Are these gargoyles werebeasts? This is where I find out it's ineffective against every other type of enemy. Wow, 170. Okay, that's that's definitely an upgrade. I like it. I like it. I'll take it. Are these spiders werebeasts? <laughs> so I'm going to be asking every enemy for the rest of the stream. Are you a werebeast? Man, 205. Not bad. Not bad. I always like when you can get super high damage stuff. Like <laughs> when, when you get to... Uh, dealing like thousands worth of damage that's when you know you've made it in a final fantasy game so i assume these wolves probably count as werebeasts i feel like that's what it, i mean the only other thing i've got like that's been called were in the game has been werewolf so it looks like they're just the sword's just effective against everything it's a sword it's still sharp every time baked beans that taste like nothing oh that sucks man gotta have your beans this isn't YouTube, exactly, um, but that, this isn't my job either. Um, I do part-time stuff for YouTube, and I work part-time for a software company. A rune blade? Oh, that sounds even better than a were, uh, werebuster. A rune blade, a sword effective against spellcasters. Oh, and it has the same damage value. Okay, interesting. But the thief can use it, and it's way better than the saber. So I reckon we give it to the thief. Effective against spellcasters. I've not really met any spellcasters yet. That's the problem. I think we we opened the other two treasure rooms, didn't we? So we don't really have anything else to worry about now. Nice. Okay, the thief is actually doing the same amount of damage as the warrior now, which is kind of cool. I am absolutely fine with that. This place was closed off, right? The uh, the Earthlink Shrine or whatever it was. I'm pretty sure it was still closed off. We had to do something involving a uh, one of the crystals before we could get into that place. Earth Gift Shrine, that was it. What is Earthlink Shrine from? It's from something else. Is it a Zelda game? Yeah, so it looks like we can't we can't get in here. This guy looks kind of creepy. I wonder what his deal is. I guess we'll figure that out later. Yeah, I think traveling to like visiting Australia and New Zealand would be lovely. I'm just uh, I'm just a wimp when it comes to flying. So that's Cornelia taken care of. We've been to the pirate town as well. I guess the next thing would be... I don't think anything in the Marsh Cave was bound by the Mystic Key, so I think it might just be going and seeing the Dwarves. Who are basically all the way to the west, if I remember correctly. I really wish you could skip party members and just have the Black Mage cast Thunder, because that's clearly what's going to end this fight. Flying is easy, you don't have to flap your arms these days. Between you and Talisman, so you have the uh, the dad jokes kind of covered, don't you? Hmm. 
Nice. Nice and easy. We're making back all of the gill that we just spent on buying those, uh, those tents. Yes, dad jokes. <laughs> the kind of jokes dads tell. He's already paralyzed. What do you want from me? <laughs> Dealt with. Very nice. <laughs> you comedy from a chair. Sit down, comedy. <laughs> you have no spawn. I have no spawn either. Except on Minecraft. Got, got there before you. The jokes. Uh, oh yeah, Elfheim. Maybe I should... For a start, I want to visit the inn just so I can regain my MP and stuff. 100 gil per night. I've got loads of money. Um, pleasant dreams. And in case there's any Mystic Key rooms in the castle, which I can't remember if there are or not. <laughs> and yes, the stream delay kind of uh, kind of helped me out there. You don't need children to tell dad jokes. That is very true. Very true. I don't think I ever looked. Did I ever look at the weapon shop here? I think I did, and it had like I think it had some sabers and things. Oh, we need to we need to visit Link's grave. R.I.P. Link. Zing. Got him. Yeah, let's check out the Elven Castle just in case there's anything here that's bound by the mystic key. Right, this room. Nope, that is the prince's bedchamber. Don't want to spend too much time in there. <coughs> anything else around the castle? See, there's a room over there. But I think we already went in that one. There's nothing in this little courtyard. Yeah, that was what we did at the end of yesterday's stream, basically, was unlock that room. And it had the Mithril hammer in it. Uh, I think that's everything, then. Let's go and see the dwarves. Who are over here somewhere, I guess. Let's just attack everything. I think we're probably good enough. Ba, ba, ba. Nice. Not bad. Got a decent little crew here now. Who needs a monk or a red mage anyway? Very good, Matt Bomb. You've do officially joined the dad jokes crew in the chat. <laughs> Paranor adding to the joke. Man, the warrior gets paralyzed all the time. Like, seriously, all the time. He is kind of the worst. Now, where was the dwarf's cave? It was over here somewhere. I think I needed to dock, like, up here and then walk to it. Which kind of sucks, because, yeah, more random encounters, but... It's just wolves. We can take them. Just saw the window shot on Twitter. Yes, that's, uh... <laughs> That's what the view out of my window that way looks like right now. <laughs> Again with the snakes. Can this party stop, like, getting attacked by a single snake? 
could literally just throw a knife into it and you're done. There's the dwarf's cave. Amazing. And of course we have to fight two more snakes before we can get inside. It warmed up and all left last night. Yeah, uh, we, we were expecting it to do that. I was expecting this morning, because it was kind of sunny this morning. I was expecting to wake up and all of the snow would be gone, but it was still snowing, and it's cold enough that it's actually sticking around. Now this room is no longer bound by the Mystic Key. We can grab the gill. All of the gill, apparently. Let's chat to this chappy. Hello. The crystal eye even the blind can see. Oh yeah, we, we, uh, we got the... the crystal eye in the last uh, the last stream. Is there anything else around here that we can do? Oh yeah, this guy said bring me some adamantite and I'll make you a legendary magical sword. I don't have any adamantite currently. The earth has started to rot. It began in the west and now the decay spreads. That sound is Neric. Oh yeah, that's, that's the guy we need to take the nitro powder to. Good armlet can be Every bit as stout as body armor, you should try one out sometime. I'm using copper bangles or something right now. And the music is so jolly. <laughs> Alright, so this guy, I need to give him the nitro powder. Nitro powder! The explosive force in this powder will have a canal open in no time flat. I owe you, kids. My Scottish accent is terrible. Apologies to any Scots people in the chat. Hootsmon! Etc. Uh, there we go! Now we can blitter this rock to smithereens! <laughs> what are you standing around for? That powder's set to blow! Unless you plan on going with it, you better get out whilst you can! Alright. Peace. Later. Smithereens, I tell ye. Boom. <laughs> Pixely explosion noises. Pixely explosion noises is my new band. Uh. Oh, is it destroying some of the uh, the land over there so we can take our ship out? Fantastic. Ooh. Cutscene. Hello. Yeah, I've actually, I, last night I, I took a look at what the NES version looks like compared to this, which is the Game Boy Advance version. It looks kind of old. <laughs> like a lot of the backgrounds are all black and stuff. Hey! Everybody wave your sword around your head. I can't wait to see what lays out there out that canal. Fair enough. Me neither, actually. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of the world map has. What is this place? Oh, more treasure. <gasps> Exciting. Worm killer. What? Ether. Oh, finally some ether. Potions. Lovely. Hey, pixel hype. Mithril mail. Man, I love RPGs because you can just go and take everybody's stuff. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like nobody's going to stop you from grabbing all of this. It is, it is kitting us out in kind of a, a worrying way. It's like, here, have some more defense. You'll probably need it, right? I need to give the thief a shield at some point. But he doesn't have anything better. Is the mithril mail for this guy? Less defense, more evade. Can I give that to one of the mages or anything? No, maybe it's for one of the others. There's nothing else for these guys. No gloves I can give to him. So I guess the iron armor is probably going to be the best thing to stick with for now, unless I really need to be evasive. But if I need to be evasive, I can just put on my old clothes. <laughs> Worm killer. A sword effective against dragons. Ooh. I want to be effective against dragons. Let's equip that on the thief, because it does one more damage than the weapon he currently has. Ace. Well, I guess we probably need to juggle our equipment a little bit more. We can uh, grab some stuff that's more effective against dragons. haven't really fought any dragons yet. Something tells me that's going to be a vital piece of equipment in the near future. Is there anything else around here that we haven't been to yet? No, I think that's it. Yes, we, uh, we got the nitro powder. Should chat to some of the dwarves. Oh yeah, he's looking for some levy stone.
Have you seen the canal yet? <laughs> we have now. We have now. All right, let's uh, let's get our ship and let's go check it out. The whirlpool out there is dangerously close to the entrance to that canal, though, so I'm a little worried. A little bit worried about that. 188 damage, though. 219. Oh, the thief is a beast. I like him. Still no steal option, though, which is kind of annoying. I'm like, why Why do you have a thief if they can't steal? It's kind of what thieves do. It's their whole MO. Since nobody's mentioned it in the chat, I assume the volume levels are still okay and stuff. Do let me know if I need to turn anything up or down. Stop tripping over these snakes. It's like we're walking through this forest and he's just tripping over them like tree roots, you know? Right. To sea! Oh, and immediately into... Oh, some buccaneers. Great, we can uh, fight these guys and get some gill. <laughs> Thank you, Paranor. <laughs> Speak up! What? Yeah, I kept the settings the same as yesterday, but I did just want to make sure, you know? Awesome. 480 gil and a saber. We could probably sell some of our equipment before we go anywhere else. If we can go back to Elfheim or somewhere and uh, sell some stuff at a shop. Because I'm carrying a lot of weapons and stuff that I really don't need right now. Man, when just the black mage with a hammer can take out these guys... I feel like we're in a good position as far as our party goes. Nice. More buccaneers. I suppose I should expect that if we're uh, sailing the seas. Don't see many other boats out here though. <laughs> Maybe the pirates kind of drove them all away. Uh, we should be coming up on Provoker at some point. Don't paralyze the Black Mage. Oh, good. <laughs> of course, the Warrior is going to get paralyzed because... Oh, no. <laughs> They're actually missing everyone. That's kind of cool. So much for your ambush. Oh, now we're getting paralyzed. Nope, apparently not. Good. They're trying. They're definitely trying. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it was going to happen one of these days. And yeah, okay, we're... We're back at somewhere I can sell stuff. That's the important bit. Provoker. Excuse me. Excuse me. Need to get to the shop. Excuse me. Thank you. Honestly. People in this town completely oblivious. Right. Let's sell... Um, the dagger. 70 gil. Sure, why not? Not using it right now. The rapier. Uh, may as well sell that. It's like 4 gil, but I don't really need it. Uh, we've got 3 knives for 6 gil. 2 broadswords. 450. Not bad. A scimitar for 80. I'm I'm terrible for like hoarding stuff in these games. And I just really don't need to. Sell the iron armor, because we don't need that. Sell the leather armor. Stuff. I mean it's like two gil, but like Don't need all of these clothes and stuff. Sell the sabers. The mithril mail we will keep just in case, and the rune blade we will keep because we can swap that out. But I think pretty much everything else we're good for. And let's sort the inventory just so we know everything we've got. Yeah, okay, cool. That's better. That's better. Feel slightly less encumbered now. Imagine if there's a weight limit in this game. That would be the worst. And you are going to be annoying. Let me out, dude. 
I know it's not on your like little walk path that's been programmed in, but you are literally the worst NPC in the game right there. Okay, to the canal. <laughs> Finally, let's continue on our adventure. Wow, the snow is really coming down outside. I kind of wish I had like a live feed of the snow for you guys so you could see it. Let me turn the webcam around. It is happening out there. Now I've screwed up the white balance. <laughs> there we go. Adventure time. Come on, grab your friends. I think we need to be down here. What worries me now... <laughs> well, that is... It looks more impressive in person, I think. Because, like, the visibility in that direction is pretty bad, and that's mostly because of the snow. It's not like an absolute blizzard, but it's... It's not doing badly for Britain. Let's be real. I know we're not the kind of places like, uh... Like in Canada or wherever, where you just can't see for the stuff. I think people can still get to work. Right, here we are. Of course, the first thing I want to do is run straight into that whirlpool, but I will resist... Instead, oh, there's a town here. Fantastic. Let's make that our first port of call. Melmond. Oh, look at the earth here. This town has clearly been affected by that uh, that blight they were talking about. Restore the crystals to Grace. Who's Grace? The vampire. It's a vampire. Hello. Destroying our church and leaving our city in shambles. Is there nothing we can do to stop the ruination of the earth? Restore the crystals. To okay, yeah, they're all kind of saying the same thing, like they're zombies. Restore the crystals to grace. What's his my name? I've, uh, <laughs> I've gone all the way here for Dugar to find out the spring height of the Earth's decay. All right. Let me know if you find anything interesting. I'm, ju I'm just a farmer. Leave me alone. My name's Dennis. I am Roger the Shrubber. Okay, black magic. Oh, hello. All of these spells interest me. Instantly kills all foes. That sounds good. Uh, deals fire damage to all foes, teleport, transports party to previous floor. Oh, escape rope. Hello. I kind of want all of these. Uh, except slow. I don't really need slow. <laughs> Roger the Shrubber. Yep. <laughs> so, Black Mage. Magic level is too... What? My magic level is too low. How dare you? It says Black Mage can learn it. But my magic level is too low. Well, screw you guys. I didn't want to learn these spells anyway. Gosh. Look at, look at you with your blighted earth being all freaking prejudiced. Okay, maybe I just need to level up some more. Uh, same with this stuff, right? Yeah, it looks like the, the white mage isn't jumping for joy at the idea of learning this spell. So it looks like we can't yet. Dang it. How about you? Are you going to be like, you can buy these, but you can't use them. Uh, a long sword and a falchion. Falcon. Uh, I guess we'll buy the long sword. It seems like he can use it. It's going to be like, your attacking level is too low. You're a bit of a rubbish warrior. Uh, 30 damage. Yes, please. Don't care about the drop in accuracy. I am the greatest swordsman in all the land. Uh, where is... There's an inn here. Good. Is there an item shop? That's the black magic one. That's leaving the town. Okay. Do you not have an item shop in Melmond? Oh, you have an armor shop up here. Can I buy a new shield? I kind of need to buy shields. Wow. That is expensive. You guys, that is some, <laughs> some pretty serious expense. We've got a great helm already. Bronze gloves. Steel gloves. Sound better. Uh, let's buy... A silver armlet. We are going to have to... Oh. We're going to have to do some serious grinding for Gil out here. Uh, <laughs> let's at least equip something on the Black Mage, because he is still the squishiest character. 16 defense! 16! I need to buy one of those for the White Mage as well, because she only has 5 defense still. We kind of need that. Uh, yeah. One more silver armlet, please. I know I need to, I need to make up 26,000 Gil. 
but uh, yeah, we kind of need the defense now. Especially if we're going to be fighting tons of stuff. Wow, okay. So now we know the stakes are a little high. <laughs> Who are you? You look like the guy from the castle. There's nothing... <laughs> I thought his name was Dr. Urin for a second. There is nothing I, the great genius Dr. Una, do not know. You've never heard of me? Inconceivable. <laughs> great Princess Bride reference. More gravestones. Dang it, guy. He'll eat just about any kind of rock, but I hear he especially likes gems. Oh, maybe that's why the crystal is damaged. Maybe the giants are eating them. It's a little bit rude of the giants to do that, but never mind. Seriously, where is the... Is there any item shop? Was this the item shop? This, like, bombed out building? Apparently it was. There's just... Now there. Prosperous civilization lived in the Northland, and now it's fallen into ruin. In the cave on the southern tip of this continent lives a man called Sada. He is a wise man who knows much. He knows too much. He went too far. Stop by my father's shop. Which one is your dad's? Does he own the item shop? Because I can't find that one. Uh, do we need to rest at the inn? I have a feeling it might help, but no, we're okay. We're looking all right. One heal from the white mage should do us okay. So in the south of this land, there should be some place we need to go, yeah? He's a wise man who knows a whole bunch. That is apparently a lesser tiger, by the way, guys. Just so you're aware. <laughs> we all know the feeling of knowing too much. I like how pretty much everybody in this place lives in a cave. Okay, we've got some shadows. Nothing too much to worry about. Let's just use some holy magic. I've fought these guys before. I know they're not too bad. We're all burdened with so much knowledge. Okay, this is the giant's cave. And that is the giant, presumably. And there's apparently ogre chiefs in here. Which is not too much of a problem. It's the Incredible Hulk with hair. As we discovered yesterday. Um, yeah, these guys are probably going to give us a bunch of money. So I guess we will, we will attack them for all they're worth. And I'm looking forward to upgrading those spells because the Black Mage's magic is actually feeling kind of weak right now. That gill, though. All about that gill. You shall not pass. Oh, he's the... Uh, <laughs> it's the Black Knight. None shall pass. The Python references just keep coming out of here. Okay, well, I guess we can't go any further than that, so uh, sorry to waste your time. <laughs> Plenty of ogres to attack, though. Let's do a quick heal on everyone and... Fire it on the rest of you. Yeah, one damage. Nothing to worry about. 39 damage, on the other hand. Bit of an annoyance. So happy the mages are a little bit less squishy. Nice. Good work, Black Mage. 690 gil, that's what we want. That's how we're going to buy that armor. So there should be a kingdom to the north, they said, that had kind of fallen into ruin. Quick cure the thief. I think he took a little bit more, a little bit more damage than we wanted him to there. Nice, okay. He's back on the road to recovery. And dealing hella damage to the ogres. That's not too bad. Okie doke. Nothing that way. So I guess this kingdom t has literally fallen into ruin and there's nothing left. Dang it, ambushes are the worst. Oh, hang on. Dear, there we go. <laughs> At least the warrior has some fancy shades. White mage is brushing her teeth again. <laughs> Darkness can still hit them for 150 damage.
Nice. Hey, we all leveled up. Excellent. Now... Maybe we can go further north here? Apparently not. Yeah, I don't know if they're ever going to bring killer bunnies back to Minecraft. I think the uh, the big problem with them was that they could spawn literally anywhere. Okay, so maybe I need to go around the continent here. Head up to the north beyond these like mountain ranges and stuff. Yeah, but the fact that they could spawn anywhere meant that you could encounter one like as soon as you logged in, and then you just be keep keep getting like spawn killed by them. And obviously they could have found ways around that, but it just didn't seem like a particularly effective way to implement something. You can still get them with commands. Finally, somebody other than the warrior gets paralyzed. Never thought I would be excited by that, but apparently I am. Uh, nowhere we can dock here, unfortunately, so... Kind of want to check out what this is about. Life Spring Grotto. Hello, who are you? Yipes, peoples! You aren't going to hurt me? Then maybe I can tell you a little bit about this place. This cavern is known as the Life Spring Grotto. Long ago, men and mermaids who fell in love could live here together in peace. Sure, I guess. Why not? Uh, okay, so that's literally all you're going to tell me. And this also has a... A creepy statue in front of it. Maybe this is something to do with those crystals. So if I like, if if I I heal the crystal of water, then this thing will open. If I heal the the crystal of earth, then I can get into the uh, the Earth Spring Shrine or whatever it was called. That one bug where all white bunnies were called Minecraft Killer Rabbit. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't have been such a pleasant environment to... Uh, to play the game in. Is there literally nowhere I can go that will let me land? <laughs> Just doomed to remain at sea, killing these small sea creatures forever. I think I'll probably need to bring up the world map, and the world map was having issues like within the game, so probably just have to bring it up on my laptop. See, like if I press, if I press select, nothing happened. Oh, there it is! What the heck? How did I do that? I, I was not doing anything different. Okay, fine. Uh, enlarged map. Okay, so that's our current position. And it's listing all the locations we've already been to. How did I do that again? That's so weirdly inconsistent. Okay, give me a second. I need to check which button I've actually got. Okay. Okay, so it's like, let me see if I can get this right. It's B and then select. Right. Okay, cool. So, full map. That is our current position. That's the Elven Castle. Man, there's a lot of locations to visit. If each of these yellow things is a location. That's the Chaos Shrine. Okay, so it's not just that the red targets are like... I think the red targets are towns. We found the map. Finally, after all this time, we found the map. Uh, so we're around there. It's not going to show us where the docks are, though. Which kind of sucks. Well, I guess it does if we do that. But So if I press that and... Okay, we can scroll around a little bit. Okay, good. Right, this is better. <laughs> this is much better. So where... I guess if we go over here... I don't know what this place is, but it seems to be in the middle of like a marsh kind of thing. 
Wow, okay, there is a big world out here. I was not expecting the game to be this big. Wait a second, it like wraps around though. That's what it's doing. Interesting. Did, also did not expect the world to wrap around. Also, how weird is it that that continent up to the top right hand side there looks like a bird? It's like a weird deformed bird. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we can get to this place on the right hand side here. Should we try that or should we go north or, or what? I don't know. But if we go this way for a long time, it seems like we wrap around. I can't believe it's taken me this long to find the map. Uh, and if we go in there, there should be, in here, there should be a place that we can dock and land. Okay, cool. Incredible. Okay, so we're kind of finding our way around, except that's kind of blocked off. Is there any place we can go up here? I assume there is. All of the enemies seem to mostly be the same. Let it be na let it be uh, stated, let the record show that this was the stream where we found the map. Anything at all up here. Oh great, another place we could have parked the ship. Wonderful. More ogres. Well, let's uh, take a look at the map and see where we're headed at least. Uh, scroll over a little bit. Can we get to that place? I think it looks like we can. We should have parked the ship up here. Wait, is this Provoker? Dang it! <laughs> there was me thinking we were going to go somewhere interesting. Turns out we've just wrapped around on ourselves and ended up where we were before. Okay, we need to go south. That much is, is obvious. Like the fact that now we've got access to the entire world via boat, we can just go back to where we were before. Have I played Final Fantasy when it was new? Yeah, um, I was... Definitely, like, I got Final Fantasy VII when it had a demo disc in it for Final Fantasy VIII. And uh, I remember getting Final Fantasy VIII when it came out and being very excited about it. And then <laughs> it turned out not to be my best, ge my favorite game in the series, put it that way. Uh, but I'm looking forward to playing it again at some point. Might have a different appreciation of it now. I'm a little older. I don't know. Maybe I was just too young for it at the time. But I guess, yeah, Final Fantasy VII must have come out when I was about the age to be playing it. Man, these guys are just going to paralyze our entire party. I don't like that. Yeah, get wrecked. Nice. Slightly worried that we'd all end up paralyzed and then game over, you know? Shark! Yeah, I remember being so excited for Final Fantasy IX, and I was not disappointed by that game. That game was absolutely my favourite. Okay, now let's see if this will take us anywhere different, because this looks like somewhere we haven't been before. You started with 8 and then played 9 too. Yeah, we'll be getting to those games at some point in this uh, this whole stream session. Not, not this stream, but in future. Okay, these are new enemies, so let's be on our guard, shall we? Uh, maybe just heal everyone, just to be safe. And I guess fire I will do. Okay, so they've got... 250 health, at an estimate. And they hit pretty hard. Okay, good to know. 
Pretty sure Helgigas is a boss in- Wow, that was a lot of gil. Okay, we need to be grinding this place. Lots of gil. And a troll. Interesting. New enemies. No, don't run away. You're better than that. <laughs> Ouch! Don't hit the squishy man. Man, encounters all over the place. Oh, the scorpions are back. And so are the anacondas, apparently. Everyone ready with the Nicki Minaj references? The internet has taught us how to deal with trolls exactly. Don't feed them. That seems to be the, uh, the advice I usually get. Oh, poison. Are you serious? Does our white mage have a spell that can cure poison or no? Do we have to use the antidotes? I think we have to use an antidote. Okay, we're slowly working our way into the middle of this marsh. What is this? Ankheg. Ankheg. What does that even mean? <laughs> so confused. Uh, attack, please. Thank you. Uh, and I guess, yeah, let's let's heal the Black Mage because he's got a little bit squished in that last fight. Basically set fire to it. It's got way too many te uh, tentacles and feelers. Can we get to this place? Oh, we can. Okay, good. Two trolls. Both of them, <laughs> they seem to like, they're like, ah, oh, my head. They're trying to listen to their music on the uh, on the bus. It's too loud. Nice. Okay, so we're uh, we're beasting it right now. We're actually doing pretty well. There we go. Crescent Lake. Now this looks like a peaceful town. With an item shop. Oh, and sells all the good items. Two high potions. Amazing. We'll need to buy a few of those. Because we're kind of out of the range of regular potions at this point. We're okay with ethers. We're okay with phoenix down. We've got plenty of tents. Tents are plenty. Let's check out what else they sell here, though. Have they got any black magic I can actually buy? Yeah, I, I don't know what the churches are for. I assume they are for, like, curing status effects and stuff. It's like a kind of apothecary situation. Mithril Mail, Mithril Shield, Buckler. Yeah, let's buy some better shields, because extra defense, always kind of useful. Also, Mithril Helm and Mithril Gloves. This is just like the Mithril Shop. Sure, I guess we'll we'll go with that. Looks like I can probably fight a couple of encounters out here and be good to go. So extra defense, yes please. Yeah, we know the Mithril Mail isn't going to do me any good. Mithril Gloves, 43 defense. Mithril Helm, oh, and it raises our evasion. Fantastic. Zombie storage for later adventures with the undead. Uh, so let's sell the bronze gloves, and the buckler, and the great helm. Wait, no, I bought the buckler for him. Dang it. I hate it when I do that. We need a buckler for this guy. Thank you. <laughs> Just sold that guy's buckler back to him at a low cost price. What a chump been scammed by these shopkeepers. Uh, Mithril Swords. Apparently that's better than what I'm already using. Likewise the Axe. But I think I'll be alright for now. Because some of these weapons have slight damage bonuses against other stuff. Don't tell me my... Oh wow, okay. Level 6. Definitely not going to be able to use that. I like that this is... A Death instantly kills one foe. The other place was selling a... Uh Selling a spell that instantly killed everyone. 
Yeah, definitely want to come back here later, though. I need to get my magic skills up. Likewise, this place. Exit. Transports party out of dungeons. Oh, I could have used that a long time ago. Hey, buddy. Zzz. <laughs> Just hanging out by the graves. Having a nap. As one does. So this place doesn't seem to be in need of any, like... Serious help or anything. Wait, is this... Oh, this is a path out into the forest that isn't an exit to the, uh... The outskirts of the town. What have you guys got to say for yourselves? Is that guy a pirate? Like a little beardy pirate man? Twelve sages we are, guided to this land by the stars and prophecy. So these guys... Kind of in a clock formation right here. I assume that's Sage Lucan who left the, uh... Who left the castle. The four fiends of chaos block the power of the crystals, claiming it as their own. Fire, earth, water, and wind, those are the four forces that compose our world. The source of the four forces are altars scattered throughout the world. Defeat the fiends that have taken root there and lift up the crystal you carry to the altar. The crystal should regain its brilliance. So the four fiends are the ones that are blocking each of the shrines, right? The four fiends plot to rule the world, past and present. The fiend of wind appeared 400 years ago, followed 200 years ago by the fiend of water. Together they laid waste to the civilization in the north. The fiend of earth rots the land. The fiend of fire casts everything into flame. When all four crystals shine once more, return here. All will be revealed. Bring the light of the four crystals to us, warriors of light only. You can do this. Power must be turned towards its proper end. 400 years ago as winds, 200 years ago as water, then came earth and fire, the four forces that make up the world. I am Lucan. <laughs> I speak for Raz al Ghul. Uh, I see a cycle of wrath, a dim light guided by destiny, that about which our entire future revolves. Uh, can I tell us anything about where we need to go, or not so much? Just explore. Just have a nice adventure and explore. Well, I guess that's what we're doing. Okay, now we exit the town. Cool. So this is Crescent Lake. Wow. There are a lot of these. <laughs> there are a lot of these. Something tells me I will need to heal us. And probably cast Fyra. Dude. Well, hopefully this encounter should get us a little bit of gill back, because uh, I just conned myself out of a thousand gill from that shopkeeper. Cure the squishy one, please. Uh, actually, Thief is not looking too great right now. Everyone brush your teeth. Black Mage looks like he's waving away the smell of a fart. Da, da, da. Cool. 1200 gil. Okay, cool. And we level up. Amazing. So at what point do I earn enough skills? Oh great, he's poisoned as well. Should look at that. At what point... My magic level is now 5, so we could technically go back to the place where they were selling those level 5 spells and buy those. Looks like they're chewing on a ham hock. <laughs> as you do. As one does. So let's go to the church while my guy here is poisoned. My dude! And let's see if he can heal us. There are none in need of my... Well, I'm not asking you to bury us, dude. I'm asking you to cure my poison. Let's go to the inn. 200 gil per night. Wow, pretty steep now, isn't it? Pleasant dreams. Mind you, I've got 1,200 gil just from attacking four centipedes, so... Should be alright. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. All right, these guys are taking a break at the inn and I am going to take a very short bathroom break and probably go and get myself a cup of tea. So uh, be right back, guys. Final Fantasy will be returning shortly.
Hey guys. How are we doing? I've got myself some tea. Spot of Earl Grey. And some peanut M&Ms. So I am... I'm all set. All set for a... Uh, an adventure. And I hope you guys are as well. Thanks for sticking around. So... Meanwhile, back at the inn, uh, we still get poisoned. That's kind of annoying. Uh, does Let's actually check if the mage does have a... Got cure, but not like panacea or whatever. Uh, there we go. Might need to stock up on antidotes then. Is there an item shop in this town? There was. It doesn't sell antidotes though, does it? No. Okay, fair enough. Well, we'll maybe need to go back to Cornelia for those. El Grey, the best tea. I uh, I quite like a bit of El Grey now. I never used to like it all that much, but it has grown on me. We uh, tend to drink a blend of regular English breakfast mixed with El Grey, and that usually goes down a treat. probably earn our gill back just by running around here fighting these hill gigas things. And the trolls. Skull Ring! Hello, buddy! How are you? Great to see you in the chat. Playing something a little bit different to the usual, but the plan is to stream every single Final Fantasy game in series order. So we've got to start at the beginning. Hello, Nectronic. Great to see you. Ah, uh, people waking up now. <laughs> All is well here, buddy. All is well here. Thank you for asking. Yeah, we're getting uh, a lot of cold weather here. It is snowing like heck outside. It's pretty cool, though. Thanks for the follow, Skull. I think we can just attack the rest of these guys. There we go. Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> awesome stuff. Right, uh, I think I left the ship up here somewhere. Probably need to cure his poison again, though. Yeah, the poison effects are getting annoying. We need to go and get more antidotes. Or some better magic. So snow also recently increased in density. It's, uh... It's coming down lightly outside now. The flakes themselves are not super big or anything. Only 6.20. Your school has the worst start time. Oh, sorry to hear that. Well, at least you can get up early and enjoy a little bit of this stream before you head off to school. I like how my Black Mage has like half the HP of basically any other character. He is definitely the squishy one. Uh, I guess just attack? Sure, why not? You got a hammer, may as well use it. Gotta push the door closed. There we go. At least this thing hasn't poisoned anybody. Good, okay, cool. And we're leveling up as well, fantastic. Five hit doesn't look too family friendly, oops. Oh dear, well at least we know it's a number. What, excuse me. If you'd had a hammer, you'd hammer in the mornings. My dad used to sing that. And you were wondering about why dad jokes were a thing. You just sail back over to Cornelia and buy some more antidotes. There we go. I'm actually getting used to the world map now. There's Cornelia. Cool.
Pepine, hello, welcome along. We are still streaming some Final Fantasy. We haven't been going since yesterday, but... I've got peanut M&Ms and some tea. It feels like a good day. I would also like to point out that when we just leveled up and everybody's health went up, the white mage probably went up maybe 20 points, the black mage went up two. Had two HP increase. What is that? The squishiest, guys, the squishiest. Black mage must be protected at all costs. Which means buying some antidotes. Let's buy like 10, because I'm going to be fighting those centipede things a whole bunch. You can already tell. Oh, are we dropping frames now? What is happening? Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully it'll stabilize in a second. 